Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's session, we will learn about databases, how to create a database and how to alter and drop a database. In today's session, we will discuss on this. Firstly, we will discuss about how to create a database. So there is a two ways to create a database. Initially, one is graphically we can create the database and second one is through query also we can create a database in SQL Server. This is the syntax to create a database. Create is a keyword and database also system defined keyword and you have to provide database name here. This is the example create database and database name. We will see this thing practically. This is my database server. In this example I am using SQL Server 2012. You have to provide the server name here. So if you have any SQL Server then you have to provide the server authentication. At present I am pausing Windows authentication here. So all fields are mandatory and click on connect. So that it will connect to your database management studio and all the objects will be displayed in your object explorer suppose if you are not able to find out your object explorer then you can go to view suppose i opened my sql server management studio i am not able to see the object explorer that time you can go to view select object explorer so that you will be able to access all the databases so here I have lot of databases if you expand the databases you can see all the databases here I have created different types of databases for my purpose so you can see the all the databases here if you expand here you can see the tables so like this now we will create one database here if you want to create a new database there is a two ways actually you can create through graphically second one is through query First, initially we will see how to create a database graphically. Right click on databases, click on new database. Then it will ask for database name. This is a mandatory field, you have to provide your database name. So I am giving us demo. And this is the name system defined name. If you want to change, you can name change. You can you can change the name also here. And here main important thing is path. By default, this database will be stored in C program files where your SQL Server has been installed. In that folder only it has been. It will save. So this is the folder where it is by default saved. So for me, I want to change the path. Just click on here. So it will ask you the path. So I am selecting in C drive. This is my drives. C drive. Demo databases. Select the folder where you want to store your database. And click on OK. And for log also same path I will select. So C drive. Demo databases. Click on OK. Now see the path. So it's path is C demo databases. All your database content will be saved in the C drive and demo databases. Click on OK. It's executing now. So your database has been created. If you want to see the database, refresh on databases. You can see the database. So at present it's empty database. There is no content inside this. Now we will see how to create a database through query. To create a database, click on new query. So already we know what is the query to create a database. Create is a keyword. Database is system defined keyword. And what name you have to provide for database name. So I am creating as demo1. Already I have demo. So I am creating as demo one so this is these two are database so is equal uh, keywords create is keyword and database is keyword if you want to create table then you have to provide here as table so at present i want to create as a database so i provided as database so this is my database name 
if you want to execute this you can click on execute or you can press f5 also f5 is the shortcut key so i'm clicking execute this query is executing so command completed successfully that means this your query has been executed again right click on databases refresh demo one now we have created the demo one database it has been created so this is these two process we can create the database one is graphically you can create the database and second one is through query so any one you can use it it's not a problem then we will discuss on alter database how to rename how to rename or alter a database suppose i created one name with the demo database name is demo i want to change it as some other name so how to do it this is the syntax for renaming a database altering a database so alter database alter is a keyword and database is a keyword and database name what is your existing database name and modify name so modify name you have to provide the new name here this is also keywords so we will see one example here alter database this is the database name existing database name i am renaming it as this is my new database name. so this is the keyword alter database existing database and modify name to so new database name so we will see the example for altering database also we have two procedures you can do it one is graphically you can rename the database and second one is through query also you can rename the database first we will see how to rename a database through graphically suppose i have the database called demo1 so i want to rename it as demo2 so what we have to do is right click on your database click on rename now i want to make it as demo2 yes enter so now this database name has been changed to demo2 and through query we will see how to rename a database for that alter database so existing name is demo we modify as so i want to make it as demo3 so alter database what is your existing database name and modify as demo3 so i am changing demo database name as demo3 now click on execute the database name demo3 has been set so these two process we can do it so first initially we can do the we can alter the database graphically and second one is through query also we can rename the database then finally we will see how to drop a database so this is the syntax to drop a database drop database and database name drop is the keyword and database is the keyword here you have to provide the word database name which you want to drop that means delete drop is called in sql server we will call delete as drop so this is the example drop database and i am passing as database name in two ways you can do the deletion also initially we will do we will delete the database graphically and second one we can delete the database through query suppose initially i am deleting this one graphically i click on your database click on delete it will ask confirmation suppose if you want to keep existing information backups for restoration purpose you can skip this one and suppose someone access this database someone already opened this database so sql server management studio it will not allow you to delete because someone is working already on this database so if you want to close that existing connections select the close existing connection then click on okay so if you see database has been deleted so drop option we will see with query also suppose i want to drop a database drop a database so my database name is demo3 i want to drop this database so drop is the keyword database is the keyword and 
this is the database I am going to delete that means drop so click on execute executed successfully whenever you are executing a command so you have to refresh on this one then only you can see the result see demo 3 has been dropped so now we have to see the main thing initially we created one database where all these database files has been saved so we gave us in the folders whenever you are creating a database two files will be created one is demo one is demo underscore log so what is the file extension for demo this is the mdf this is the main database which contains all your tables queries and your stored procedures everything entire data will be stored in the md file mdf file dot mdf so this is the log file this extension will be dot ldf this is the ldf file where this contains server database transaction logs all the transactions will be stored in whenever you are going to restore a database that time you can use this log file this will be useful for restoration purpose that's it for today thanks for watching my video thank you